Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to use the NZ function. That's a function that allows you to change null values into zero or any other default value that you want. Today's question comes from Bill. Bill says, in my form, I have to add two values together to get a total time an employee worked on a project. I have the default value set to zero but if they somehow delete the value, it messes up my calculations. Is there any way to stop this? Well, Bill, there are a couple of different things you could do. First, you could make the value required. It's a property in uh, your table settings. You can go in and set it to required. If I look at my customer table, for example, pick a value like I've got uh, family size here. All right, the default value is set to zero and you can make this required. If you set that to required, they have to put a value in there. They can't just blank over it. They can't hit delete and erase the value. Personally, I use this very sparingly, though. I don't like to use required for a number of different reasons. First of all, a lot of people like to, to leave a value blank if they don't know what the answer is. For example, number of children. If you're not sure how many children they have, you might not want to put a zero in there because that says I know they have zero children. So sometimes a null value is good in indicating that I have no idea what the answer is like your hours worked, for example. They might not have done that particular one yet. I'm not sure exactly what your values are, but sometimes a zero isn't the right thing to store in the table. Now, moving beyond that, there is a way that you can assume the value is zero if it's null. That's what the NZ function is for. So let's real quick just set up another table here. Table design, uh, an ID field, and then I've got a value one, which is a number and a value two, which is a number. All right, very simple. Save this as my value T, V-A-L-T. All right, primary key defined, sure. All right, close it down, open it back up again. All right, now my default value is zero, like you have. So let's say we got zero and eight. All right, and then the next two values here, three and nine, okay? One and eight. Now, the next record, he hits delete for some reason and then puts an eight in here, okay? And then we'll put a couple more values in. All right, and again, here he deletes that one. Okay, so there's my records. Ignore the, ignore the ID pretty much, but value one, value two. Now, in a query, I can add these together. So let's close this, create a query, create query design, or this works the same way in forms. You can do it in a form too. Bring in my val t. All right, bring in value one, value two. See what it looks like at the run button. All right, let's add them together over here. All right, so this is going to be val total, val1 plus val2. All right, that's how you make a calculated field in a query. I've got lessons for that. I'll put a link in the description below the video. Let's run it and see what we get. Okay, eight and eight, or zero and eight is eight, three and nine is 12. What happens down here? Null plus eight is null. If, if either one of those values is null, the result is null, which doesn't help if you're trying to add up hours. So. The NZ function can say, if this is null, assume it is whatever. If you wanted to assume it's zero, you put a zero in the function. Here's how this works. Go to design view, right down here. We're going to wrap these guys inside of NZ. NZ, open parenthesis. Now, after val1, you don't have to do this, but I like to specify the zero because it can change based on the, da the data type that you're working with, all right? And then over here for val2, NZ, like that, Oops, comma, zero. Okay, just like that. So it's NZ, val1, zero. That says if val1 is null, make it a zero. Plus, if val2 is null, make it a zero. You can't wrap the whole thing because then it's, well, you actually, now that I'm thinking about it, you probably could wrap the whole thing in it. Let's see. Let's see if this one works first. All right, there. Now it works. See, it assumes that is zero if it's null. I'm just curious now, I wanna see. You probably could wrap the whole thing in, in NZ. NZ, val1 plus val2. Actually, that's not, that's not the result that we want. Yeah, because you're gonna get a zero. Okay, so you want the first one that I had. Oops, let's go back here. Okay, that's you want that one. Because you're saying basically if you wrap the whole thing in a null zero, if the result is null, give me a zero. So, so, so null plus eight would be zero. Maybe you want that. Maybe if either value isn't there, give it a zero. It all depends on what you want. 
All right, in this particular case, I want to assume that if, if a single value is null, make it zero. And that's what you want to add together. And now you can use this calculation in all of your reports and stuff without forcing the user to have to put values in here. It's also handy if you're using a table that might have old records in it. If you've got thousands and thousands of records and some of the old ones maybe don't have values, you can assume they're zeros. Yes, you could run an update query or something and change them all. But again, what if you're not sure what those values were? Maybe they were left null on purpose. Same problem with uh, that required field. Same problem if you're importing data. If you're pulling in data that someone else gave you from a spreadsheet or whatever, there might be some null values in it. If you do an import, sometimes if you specify required and you're importing data and there is no data in that field, access won't import it. It won't add that record. So you'll lose data if you have your required field set to yes. And that's another nightmare. So that's why I generally let people put whatever they can into the tables, and then I fix it somehow, some way else with a query. Okay, so that's the basics of how to use the NZ function. For members only, I've got some extra tips and tricks in an extended cut video. First, I'll show you how to set the country to default to United States or whatever country you want if they don't have a country. That's handy for mailing lists. I'll show you how to use NZ to bring a default date into your function. Uh, for example, if you're doing gift cards, you want to figure out how many years they've been a customer. I'll show you the date diff function to calculate the number of years they've been a customer for. And then we can put in today's date if they don't have a date, so they get a zero for that instead of sending them an expensive gift card. One of the problems with calculating order totals is if a customer doesn't have any orders in the, in the database, then you have to make sure you use a left join to bring in a zero value for their orders. And we'll use the NZ to change that null value into a zero for customers that don't have orders in a related table. I'll show you that for the members only video as well. And finally, this is actually a popular one. If you type in an email address and it already exists in the database, you can use a D lookup to check to see if it exists. So if someone types in an email address that, that's already in there, it'll pop up a warning message that says, hey, this email address already exists. Are you sure you want to add it? We'll use DLOOKUP to check if it exists. We'll use the before update event so we can cancel it. We'll prompt with a message box, ask the user if they want to add it or not, and this gives you the flexibility so you can have multiple email addresses that are duplicate in your table, um, but you don't have to. It'll warn you. Sure, you can index the field and set it no duplicates, but there's a lot of reasons why I don't like doing that. I explain why in the members video. And the whole point of NZ for this function is because DLOOKUP always generates errors if you go to look something up and it's not there. It'll pop up an invalid use of null. NZ gets rid of that. How do you become a member? Click the join button and then pick your membership type. Silver members and up get access to the extended cut videos for all my tech help stuff. And platinum members get lots of free full courses. Plus, I'll be doing some live streaming and some members-only chat as well. But don't worry, I'll still be making these free tech help videos for everyone to enjoy. I just go into more detail for the members. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell, pick all, to get notifications when I release new videos like this. And make sure you head over to my website and subscribe to my forum as well. I post lots of stuff there. If you haven't already checked out my free access level one class, if you're getting started with Access, or even if you've been using it for a little while and want to see if there's some stuff that you don't know, well, it's a three-hour long free tutorial. It's on YouTube and on my website. There's the link. And if you like that, you can get Level 2, which is another full hour course for just $1. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.